How's it going friends? Today I'm bringing you this Gen Air brand water heater. We're going to remove these two screws at the bottom and after that we'll take off the control knobs so we can remove the casing. So we open the valve to see what's going on and then we see that yes, clearly something is happening. The micro switch isn't opening. It's not activating like I'm doing here with my finger. This happens because either the membrane or the pressure plate in this compartment must be damaged. So we close the gas and water valves. And a tip, when you're going to reconnect everything, pay close attention because sometimes people connect the gas line to the water and the water line to the gas. The fine for that, honestly, is quite expensive. Once the water heater is disassembled, as you can see here, for greater convenience, we're going to remove a lot of screws, including these two on the water inlet pipe and two others that hold the burner section in place. After that, we can remove the screw that holds the ground wire for the module and we also take out these fasteners. Then we can put in new ones. And down there you can see two screws on the gray part of the base. On the right side, there are also two more screws. And after removing all of those, we can take it out to work on it. So we pull it out and here it is. Here you can get a better look at the base. Two screws on each side, which is almost all water heaters are the same. Then up here, we have this gasket and you need to be very careful with it because it can fall off easily and it fits into the burner. That is, if it's missing or you forget it, you're going to have problems, okay? So this gray part is for the gas control and the gold part is for the water flow control. So in this compartment we have here, we're going to remove these two screw, these four screws to open it up, but they're aligned with the gray part. So first we have to remove these two to take off the entire gas control and once that's removed, we can take out the others. So after removing the screws, we can take this off, which is a rather delicate piece. We need to put it somewhere it won't fall because it can break easily. Here we see another gasket and uh, a spring that's divided into two sections, also with a gasket. So this spring is the one that activates when the water flows through and it releases through there, the gas passes. Let's continue with, let's put this gasket away and now we can proceed to remove the four screws where the damage part is kept. Once they're removed, let's also take off this little tube here as a precaution. It's a purge tube. It breaks very easily, way too easily like a cracker. So let's make sure to store it safely because as they say, better safe than sorry. So we remove this and we can see the broken plate this plate broke over time and well, the water pressure is constantly pushing against it, but let's also check the membrane. We can see that the membrane is clearly not broken. There are no visible